Hi, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Diamond76, home decor on a budget, and I got something on my shirt. For today's video, I am going to be showing you um, something that I'm going to try out, and I'm also going to be refreshing my bedroom. What I did was I went to, I think it was Burlington's, and I purchased a, um, a, a bed sheeting and it is in a queen size my bed is a queen size I normally will purchase when it comes to comforters uh, sheets I will purchase king size and the reason why I purchase king size and I've said this several times on my videos before is because I like to make sure that I have enough overhang on the side of my bed so i do purchase a uh, king size just for that reason so that way i won't have to worry about my uh my covers or my blankets being too short and showing too much of the bed frame now this is my birthday weekend i will be turning 55 on a saturday yes and I wanted to refresh my bedding because my husband does travel and he is coming home tomorrow. So I'm going to be taking some time off of YouTube for the weekend only. So that way I can celebrate my birthday and as well as spend some time with my husband. But I wanted to bring you along, and yes, I have the mattress sitting, the top mattress sitting over there. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to refresh my bedroom. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip you around for a second, and I want to show you the uh, queen size uh, fitted sheet that I have on my box spring. And it may sound kind of weird, like you're putting a a queen size fitted sheet on your box spring yes i did and i'm going to explain that to you in just a moment and i will be back i'm going to flip you around and then i'm going to show you and then i'm going to flip you back around you see me putting my mattress and everything back together and me refreshing uh, my room just a little bit and i will be right back Okay, I am back. Now, this is the fitted queen size uh, fitted queen size sheet that I have on my box spring. The reason why I did this is because when I make up my bed, I sometimes will fold my covers back to a certain point and I did not want my mattress being seen. So that is the reason why. And I have everything laid out right here so that way it'll help me make up my bed a little bit faster. But I'm going to see how this is going to work because I feel a lot better because you cannot see my mattress. I just never like the fact that you can see it when I have my covers pull back and I had to only do it to a certain extent because you could see my mattress. Now I'm going to get ready to uh, get my bed together and I hope that you will stay and see how I put my top mattress back on as well as refreshing my bedroom and I'll be back. Okay, I wanted to stop for a second. 
now you may have noticed that my queen, my fitted sheet on top, it is a king size and it is a little too big. <laughs> because like I just stated, I do have a queen size bed. Um, I will go back and get a queen size fitted sheet. I just keep forgetting. But this time I really wanted to uh, concentrate on the box spring so I completely forgot and I just wanted to iterate that really quickly and also as you will see if you watch my previous videos on making my bed I try to do hospital corners and I like the tight tufted look that I get with hospital corners so let me continue Okay, another intermission. <laughs> it really does not take me that long to make my bed, but I'm slowing down because I really wanted you to see the process of what I go through when I make my bed. I forgot to mention that all my sheets are clean. Okay, so I'm, I just laid them out and I do not iron my sheets. I just don't. They are wrinkled, but that is okay. Uh, they're going to be covered up, so I'm not worried about that at all. But like I said, I, I'm slowing down because I wanted you to see how I, the process that I go through on making my bed. Okay, another intermission. <laughs> what I do is I put my um, my sheets on backwards so that way the correct side when I fold it over 
will show. And what I do with this blanket right here is I'm going to put it on backwards as well so I can let the nice side show. So let me see if I can figure out which way is the right way. Okay. See, this is the backward side. This is the front side right here. As you can see, the trimming right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it on this way and then when I fold it back, you'll see the correct side. show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to take you off, flip you around for a minute, and then I'm going to turn you back around. Or either I may move you so that we can see what I'm doing. Okay, I moved you just so you can see. And I have done this on camera before. Now, this is what I did right here. I, did, I tried to do the hospital corners right there. And I'm gonna do the same thing for this blanket right here. So what I do is I tuck it right here, tuck it under, then it, it hangs like that. And then I'm gonna take it like this, okay? And I'm gonna just grab it, bring it up like this. And as you can see, I have a, I have a straight line right here. Let me move you a little bit so you can see. Uh-oh. <laughs> difficulties, difficulties. Okay, so what I'm gonna see, as you can see, I have a straight line right here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tuck it right here. And I'm not saying what I do is white, but this is just how I do it. And as you can see, you see this right here is tucked in. And then I'm gonna take this part right here, I'm gonna pull it taut, and then I'm going to tuck it under like that, and then I'm gonna continue all the way down. It just, I don't want to just throw my sheets on my bed. I, I like to, I just like to have everything tucked in nicely when I get into my bed and yes I will you know when I'm in the bed I will kick it out but I still like it because it gives me a really good look when my bed is made up okay and let me I'll put you back where you was and then flip you back around
and back. Now, what I had to do was I had to add something in here because when I got ready to put my flowers in here, they dropped to the bottom. So use whatever you want to when you have a tall vase like this and you want to put flowers in it. And so that way they won't go directly or straight to the bottom. And let me show you the flowers. Okay. These are the flowers that I am going to be using. And so I, I either got these from Hobby Lobby or I got them from Michaels. But I'm thinking, I don't know, either one of those stores is where I got these from. Now on the back, these are some branches because it is going into fall that I have tucked back here. And because I wanted a little bit of... I just wanted a little bit of kick to the flowers and I wanted to represent the fall and going into the winter. So what I don't do is, it depends, okay? I don't cut the flowers, I just bend them because I want to, if I want to use them for something else, then I can. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to place them in here because I did have them in here, but I took them out. And as you can see, that is gorgeous. So I'm gonna show you in a moment where I'm going to put these, but what I'm gonna do is I'm going to vacuum right quick and I need to go get my vacuum cleaner and I will be right back. Okay, this is where I chose to set the flowers in the vase. I'm going to have to readjust the flowers just a little bit because they're looking a little, going a little sideways a little bit. 
but yeah this is where i decided to add the flowers and i am sorry about the lighting it is changing a little bit but yeah um yeah so let me go ahead and finish vacuuming the room and then i will be right back. okay i am back i just finished vacuuming and i wanted to show you what the box spring looked like with the queen size fitted sheet on it and really i'm loving it a lot better than being able to see my uh, box spring so i'm really loving the fact that i decided to go ahead and do this and it may be something that you would like to do as well it it's fitted so it's not i will still take it off and still wash it like i do my sheets but i do like it a lot better because i have some of my uh blankets fold back so i would rather see the fitted sheets than to see my box spring and i will be back for my closing remark okay i am back and i hope that let me sit back a little bit because my head was cut up a little bit I hope that you enjoyed my video and I really think that it is a really good idea if you don't want to see your mattress to cover it like I did and since my bed is a queen size I used a queen size fitted sheet and like I said in earlier in the video I do use king size comforters uh, and blankets because I like the overhang of the blankets and I don't want to see the um i don't want to see the uh what is it uh the platform bed i don't want to see the bottom of it so i would rather see the blankets than that again my name is diamond 76 home decor on a budget and if you like my content please subscribe to my channel as well as thumbs up this video and if you want to join me on my Instagram channel, please join me at Diamond2872. I will be happy to have you over there. And yes, another video. That's okay. <laughs> um, I just like to be comfortable when I do clean or do anything. And as you all know, I do like my background. Okay. <laughs> Always remember to put that diamond touch on anything that you decide to do and i will see you guys maybe monday because like i said it is my birthday weekend and i plan on spending it with my husband so i won't be on social media like that i just need to take some time celebrate 55 years old and that's it i will talk to you guys in another video and bye